Saturn delays but never denies. <laughs> Uh, Saturn is terrible in every house. Saturn, Venus, no sex life. Saturn, Dasha, old spouse, boring spouse. Saturn, transit. Mm -hmm. What to speak of Sare Sati? <laughs> All right. So as it's the time of YouTube 2023, as Kali Yuga is progressing, Misinformation, fake news, false information is rampant, right? So similar is one area in this world that's astrology and specifically Saturn. Saturn is not spared. Okay, People think Saturn doesn't spare anybody, but the people in Kali Yuga don't spare Saturn also. <laughs> it's actually the opposite. Okay. So, what are some uh, YouTube astrology misconceptions and how bizarre they are? I'll tell you. And how illogical, like astrology, the study of, it's like the logical, uh, you could say, study of the astral bodies, right? But how illogical it is to say like this, okay? So, what are some of the eight blunders of YouTube astrology, you know, eight misconceptions of Saturn? And this is there from small to large degree, okay? Number one, Saturn delays, but he never denies. Huh? So this means like uh, they say, for example, if Saturn is in the seventh, he will never deny you marriage, but he will give you late marriage, okay? So he will delay it, maybe 35, 40, 45, but he will not deny, okay? This is what they say. <laughs> but the problem is... Um, or rather, I would say, how to understand this is, you cannot just see, okay, Saturn is here, so he will delay, delay and never deny. No, no, it doesn't work like that. The reality is, planets give results in context of their lordships and their placements, okay? So now, for example, if you are a Leo Lagna, for example, or if you are, mm -hmm. which lagna? <laughs> okay, let's talk of Leo lagna. If you're Leo lagna, then Saturn is the lord of your sixth house, right? There's no doubt about it. Now, if Saturn is the lord of your sixth and he's sitting in the seventh, so the sign Capricorn is in the sixth and Shan is in Aquarius in the seventh. So now, this is a situation where the seventh lord is also in the seventh, but the sixth lord is also in the seventh. So seventh lord in seventh, good for marriage, right? Sixth lord in seventh, bad for marriage. So what happens? So then you got to see the nakshatra. So in Aquarius, where is Shani sitting? Okay, is Shani uh, sitting in Satabisha nakshatra, Purva Bhadrapada or in Dhanishta nakshatra? Okay, where is, where is Saturn sitting? In Aquarius in the seventh. And now you see, okay, Saturn is sitting in Dhanishta Nakshatra, okay. Or let's say he's sitting in uh, Uruva Bhadarpada. So where is Jupiter? So depending on Jupiter's placement, it will be decided if Saturn will actually delay or he, he will deny. Because in worst case, he may also deny things, okay. So therefore, you need to check the Nakshatra Lord of Saturn. Where is he? That will tell you if Saturn will actually delay things or deny things, okay. Now, if Jupiter is placed in a good house, uh, like, you know, 2nd, 7th or 11th for marriage, then uh, there could be some delays. That's it. And then it may not be denied. But if Jupiter is also placed in bad houses, bad for marriage, like the 6th or the 10th, then the marriage may be denied. Okay. Provided Ju uh, Saturn is in Jupiter Nakshatra by himself being the 6th Lord. Okay. So, therefore... Uh, this whole thing, you know, Saturn always delays or Saturn uh, delays but never denies. You know, these are all these are all very uh, vague, generalized statements which have no authenticity. Okay, there is no uh, scriptural proof to this. Like Saturn will only delay; he may not deny. He 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 may not delay sometimes also. Okay, so it depends on the chart and how Saturn is actually placed. How, what's going on in the Ashtagvarga, where is he in the Navamsha and all these things matter actually, okay. 
Number two, Saturn in seven does not break marriage, but it gives a lifelong bad marriage. Okay, this is another very big misconception because, uh, as I said, you know, if Saturn is in the seventh, he can give a good marriage, a bad marriage, or he can get you divorced or separated. Okay, or he may give you no marriage, all the five. So, uh, to say that Saturn represents, you know, bonding and bondage, so you will be. Uh, like you know your husband wife are like bonded labor you know like uh, just uh, just dragging around you know? and they also say Saturn is limping so if Saturn is in the seventh you know you will be limp okay your marriage will be like limping it's like you can't get rid of it you can't not do it you're not separated you're not divorced you are unhappy so it's like in Hindi you say na, na, dhobi ka, what is that dhobi ka kutta na kar ka na ghat ka <laughs> something like that right no exactly uh, certainly not so you have to understand that it depends on what saturn is doing okay so for example just because he's in the seven it does not blindly mean that he will give you a bad marriage he can also give you a good marriage for example if he's the lord of the second house or if he's the lord of the 11th sitting in the second because these three houses they encourage marriage so if the if Saturn as the Lord of 2nd or 11th is in the 7th house, then uh, that could be a uh, good situation for you. And added to that, if the Nakshatra Lord of Saturn is also in the 2nd, 7th or 11th, then fantastic. So it will show a good marriage. Now, if uh, the Nakshatra Lord of Saturn is situated in the 6th house, then uh, it can show there are problems in the marriage. Okay, And uh, if uh, there are extreme situations it can show denial of marriage okay so so this is very similar to point number one that i said you know so please see what is going on in detail don't just see oh he's in seventh you know my marriage is like gone either i'll not get married or i'll have a bad marriage no it doesn't work like that okay just because he's saturn it doesn't mean he'll give you a bad marriage okay number three saturn is bad in every house okay like whenever I do consultations, very frequently people ask me, sir, I saw this video on YouTube, you know, I have Saturn in first house, whole life is destroyed, Saturn in second house, family is destroyed, Saturn in third house, relationships with neighbors, brothers, sisters destroyed, Saturn in fourth house, Lord Ram, relation with the mother is destroyed, <laughs> Saturn in fifth, relation with children is destroyed and from fifth he will aspect the seventh uh seventh eleventh and second so marriage is finished okay sixth house destroy uh, your enemies will destroy you or some say oh no 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 you know actually it's a upacha house so saturn in six is good you know as if then there is saturn in seventh classic finish marriage is like forget it <laughs> either no marriage or bad marriage or divorce one of the three possibilities nothing beyond this okay then Saturn in seven, eight, your in-laws are after you. Your, your, your in-laws want you dead. Then Saturn in ninth, wow, relation with the father is uh, spoiled. Then Saturn in tenth, your boss hates you. Saturn in eleventh, your friends ditch you. Saturn in twelfth, your expenses are after you, right? Income tax department is running after you. Hospitals are running after you. So anywhere saturn is it is bad okay this is what people think but actually it's not the case if saturn is in a house which is good for that a particular event of life it will it will be good for that event of life you know as i said if saturn is the lord of the second or 11th situated in the seventh and the nakshatra lord of saturn is reasonably well placed then saturn dasha will give you good marriage okay but then if it is the 10th Lord sitting in the 7th, maybe not that great, okay? Uh, problems in your married life can come because of career promotions and all this. So, please don't just say Saturn is in this house, you know, that house, this will happen, that will happen, you know, my life is finished or something like that, okay? Don't, don't say that. Please analyze Saturn properly in detail. <laughs> And as usual, if you are new to the channel and if you have not watched, I have a ton of videos on Saturn. I also have a playlist on Saturn. So please go and watch it. Okay. And if you are new, then please like, comment, share this video and also subscribe to the channel. And if you 
like this video then hit the thumbs up at the end of course okay and for consultations my website is down below god is there with you all the time irrespective of where is saturn <laughs> All right, number four, Saturn teaches you valuable lessons. You know, Saturn is this great teacher. You know, he will come and teach you the most world's valuable lessons, you know, in the most profound way, you know. I mean, this is also a big lie because it depends on the chart and the overall consciousness of the person. If this was true, then everybody would be a good person. Let me explain why. Because... See, the thing is, Lord Krishna says in the Gita that this material world is Dukhalaya Mashashvatam. But the problem is, many people do not understand this even after getting beatings. So, they say there are three levels of, uh, there, are, there are three levels at which you can learn. The first level is you hear from the Guru. The Guru is telling you, this is good, this is bad, do this, don't do this. That's it. You You learn. Okay, fine. Then that's first class. Second class is like uh, you hear but you don't believe. So you see others. Oh, he was drinking alcohol. He died at the age of 40. She was doing this. You know, she got divorced. This happened, that happened. Okay. Okay. I heard but I didn't believe. But I saw and I believed. Okay. And then uh, third class. What is third class? I heard, I saw, but I still don't believe. I want experience. I want to get kicks. I want to get slaps. Okay. Have you, did you get slaps? <laughs> From this material world uh, by people. <laughs> Anyways. So then there is fourth class. You know, I have, I've heard it. I've heard it, I've seen it, I've experienced it, but I still will not improve. Hum kabhi nahi sudhrenge. <laughs> That's the people of Kali Yuga, 2023, 20, 2024, 20, 2045 or whatever, right? So, uh, this is very interesting because if, if you are like somebody in the first or second category, then okay. Even even in the third, you know, you can claim that okay, Saturn taught me lessons, which means <clears throat> you heard in the Bhagavad Gita, you went to a satsang program, you heard something, okay, and this is not good, don't do this. Then you did it, you know, you are you have this uh, third class mentality of learning, and then uh, you got experience and you got beatings, okay, liver is gone, okay, zada drinking zada ho gaya. liver is gone, okay. So then now you understand and oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Guruji said, you know, you should not drink so much or whatever. Not at all. Why not? Why just only so much? You know, not at all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I, I will take care. But if you are in the fourth class category, you hear, you see, you, you experience and even then you don't change, then you don't learn anything when Saturn Dasha comes. So, if somebody claims that Saturn has made him or her a wise person, then it by default means the person has some level of awareness of this world. Okay. Otherwise, there are millions of people who get Saturn, Dasha, Transit, Sade Sati, and all this, and they just they just pass it like animals, you know, crying, suffering, you know, what will happen, you know, he left me, she left me, this happened, that happened, ye nahi mila, wo nahi mila, this happened, that happened, and then finally, suddenly they find somebody else and then they are, okay, back to life again, okay, but they don't learn anything, okay. So just because you have Saturn Dasha and you get beatings, it doesn't guarantee that you, you are going to uh, learn something, okay, so it depends on your consciousness if you will actually learn and this can apply to every planet not only saturn okay so even jupiter can come and go and nothing happens right all right number five saturn venus conjunction or mutual aspect no sex life sex life is gone okay this is not what i say what people say sex life is gone why because saturn is uh the Karaka for uh, importance, you know, whatever, Saturn, Mercury, they are the eunuch planets, right? So, 
Mm, sex life is gone, you know, better to die. <laughs> Why do we get married if you have a bad sex life, right? So, this is also certainly not true. Well, uh, this can be true in some extreme cases, but in most of the cases, it is not true. Okay. And what is also not true that, you know, uh, Saturn and Venus will give you a very bad marriage. Okay. Um, it doesn't mean that. So, if if Saturn or Venus is ruling bad houses for marriage, like 6th Lord, 10th Lord, and then they are aspecting each other, then it can be bad for marriage. Uh, but it can be bad in any area of life. You know, you have, might have difference of opinion or whatever it is. But just to say that, oh, Saturn, Venus, you know, sex life is ruined. Uh, this is not the truth. Okay. Number six, Saturn Dasha is coming. I'm 25 plus. I will get an old spouse, old and useless person, old, ugly, uh, jobless, <laughs> uh, unattractive, uh, whatever, you know, like uh, idiot, not, not so smart, you know, not very charming, you know, not, not a good spouse, right? Well, see, uh, if if you are getting married in Saturn, Antar, Dasha or Mahadasha and you are meeting the person at that time, there could be some age gap, which is certainly possible. Uh, but it does not mean it will be like he or she will be 10 years younger to you. Okay, Could be a few weeks or months or one or two younger years older than you. <clears throat> Maybe even three to four or five. But it doesn't mean you, know, you are marrying somebody 20 years elder to you okay it doesn't mean that nor does it mean you will uh, meet somebody who is not good okay uh, so it depends on the chart how saturn is that that will tell you how what is the nature uh what kind what is your mentality okay so you cannot find the nature of your spouse from your chart it is just not possible this is another um useless uh, false propaganda that is there in youtube you know find the nature of the spouse you know find you find your spouse's luck now find your spouse's boom find your spouse's son you know it doesn't work because your chart is your chart your chart shows what kind of people you may be attracted to but that is not literally you know somebody's luck now like saturn is in your seven it doesn't mean the your spouse is a Capricorn Lagna or Aquarius Lagna or Capricorn or Aquarius Moon sign, Sun sign. No, it doesn't mean that. So you you have to understand that uh, there could be some age difference and there could be some difference in caste, creed, religion boundaries. Okay, foreign spouse and all this. This could happen. But to say you will get an old and useless spouse, oh, no, this is not true. Don't believe it. Number seven. Saturn transit gives suffering in that house. So, for example, if your Saturn is transiting in 10th house, now bang on. Problems in career will start. Well, certainly not. Problems will come if you have been lazy in that area. So, for lazy people, Saturn, see, Saturn will always transit some house. In transit, it is always in some house, right? So, if you are lazy, responsible, and you are running behind quick pleasures, any house Saturn transits, you will get beatings, okay? But just because Saturn is transiting, you know, some calamity will dawn on me, you know, and my whole life will end in that house. No, that's not true. Don't believe it. And last, Sade Sati will for sure give me depression and even suicidal thoughts. Okay. But certainly not. I have seen so many people in Sade Sati. They have become millionaires. You know, they become prime ministers, presidents or whatever. I mean, they've made very... They've had a lot of achievements in their life. Of course, uh, you can say that it's a bit heavy time. Heavy means, you know, you have to work a bit more hard. Mm, you have to keep a check on your emotions and all this. But to say that it will make you depressed for no reason, just because it's Sare Sati, which means everything is going fine in your life. Still, you, are, you will get in depression or you will get to settle thoughts. No, this is not correct. Okay. So, therefore, the conclusion that I'm trying to give through this video is you need to look at the overall chart. That will actually tell you what Saturn will do, okay? And just by looking at Saturn's house placement, you cannot generalize things or transits, okay? 
So you need to check Saturn's lordships, placement, Nakshatra lord. Who is Saturn getting aspected by? Who is Saturn aspecting? Where is Saturn in the Navamsha, the Ashtagvarga, the Dashamsha chart, you know, the Dwadashamsha for children, the Saptamsha. You, know, you need to check all this. Only then you can actually say what Saturn is going to do in the Saturn Mahadasha Antardasha. Okay. So don't, please get out of these vague, nonsense, stupid, useless, bogus, illogical generalizations. You know, it doesn't work and it gives a very bad name to astrology. Okay. So if you have any friend or family member or colleague who thinks that Saturn does any of these, you know, just because he's Saturn, then please pass on this video to that person. All right. Thank you very much for your patience. If you're new, then please like, comment, share and subscribe and hit the thumbs up. And also switch the notification bell so that you don't miss any updates, okay? And if you want a consultation, my website is always down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will hopefully find him for sure. <laughs>